Good afternoon. I am Andrea Chisholm with the Midday News. A special welcome if you're watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Opposition leader Dr. Peter Phillips says sluggish growth in the economy is a reflection of what he calls the JLP's failing economic policies. The Planning Institute of Jamaica indicated earlier this week that the economy grew by 1% in the April to June 2019 quarter. It represented 18 consecutive quarters of growth. However, there was a major downturn in key sectors such as agriculture due to drought conditions. For Dr. Phillips, the contraction in agriculture cannot be blamed solely on the drought. Ordinary Jamaicans are expected to benefit from the Bank of Jamaica's decision to lower its policy interest rate by 25 basis points to half of a percent. Financial analyst and CEO of TCP Tings, Mark Gale, says it's a bold move. He's predicting that if the policy goes as planned, more persons and businesses should benefit from cheaper loans and financial institutions will introduce new products based on increased competition. The board of the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts is to meet tomorrow with disgruntled staff following yesterday's protest. Staff and students are dissatisfied with how the board has been handling recent allegations of sexual harassment. They demanded a meeting to discuss the allegations and to find out why Principal Dr. Nicolene Degrassi Johnson was asked to take a leave of absence. Acting Permanent Secretary in the Education Ministry, Dr. Grace McLean, says the board was planning to meet with the staff and students before yesterday's protest. The board has actually been meeting almost two to three times per week, just trying to handle this situation that has actually engulfed the institution. And so the meeting is planned for Friday of this week, where the board will address the staff and will try just to deal with the general issues that are affecting them at this time. Following this meeting, a decision will be taken as to when they meet with the entire school population to explain what the situation is, to listen to their questions and concerns, and to see if they can collectively address other concerns that may be there as well. The college has been in the spotlight amidst criticisms of how it dealt with complaints of sexual harassment against a lecturer. The lecturer is currently on suspension until hearings are completed. Attorney General Marlene Malahu Fort says there is a serious sexual abuse problem in Jamaica. Speaking yesterday at the launch of the Miss Montego Bay Foundation in St. James, she provided statistics on the level of sexual abuse of young girls. At the time when I took stock of the number of persons who were sexually abused and the number of young girls who lost their virginity to rape or molestation, four out of every five was what came up with the stat. It was as high as that. We have a lot of brokenness in the society. Because for those of us who were fortunate enough to not have been sexually abused, it's but for the grace of God, because there is a culture within families. When I became exposed to the level of sexual molestation among family members and acquaintances, I could not believe it, just could not believe it. But these were real victims. The National Solid Waste Management Authority and the University and Allied Workers Union officially signed an agreement to provide benefits for some workers. We have details in this report. 100 drivers at the National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, will now have unionized benefits. An agreement was officially signed between the NSWMA and the University and Allied Workers Union, UAWU, on Wednesday at the Nutsford Court Hotel in New Kingston, St. Andrew. This uh, agreement is a good agreement, but it's not the best that can be done. There are things that still outstanding, like the established positions that these people rightly ought to have. Right now, they are not on the establishment and we have to get them on the establishment. We have committed to do that, not just for the drivers, but for our sanitation workers, our enforcement officers. We believe that they must have a better quality of life. And the security of tenure is what helps to add the peace of mind that they need as they do their work on a daily basis. They deserve things. You know, you drive on the road and you say, dead dog, and you ask, well, where did it go? 
That dog didn't get a barrel now, eh? No, the Salvation people took it all away. Amen. And save us. And for those things, we must be thankful to them. And the best way of showing that thanks is by upgrading their condition of work. Executive Director at the NSWMA, Audrey Gordon, lamented that there are still some workers who are not able to receive any benefits. However, he explained that the NSWMA is working to resolve that issue. We can't continue to have them in that um, unestablished position. We believe that we sh they should be on the establishment because they are very vital to the um, NSWMA and what the MS NSWMA does for Jamaica. So we are making representation where we have started in terms of internally and so on, and we will carry through, and I'm sure that we will find receptive ears as we go along. It's a shame that in our country, there could be workers working almost seven days a week for 20 years and not place on the staff. So by not being on the staff, they're not getting increment. They're not getting seniority payment. And they're not getting pension. That's not good. And this has happened across political administration. My involvement here is to get the company to make the fundamental change. O'Shane Masters, TVJ News. The Jamaica Public Service Company says while it has been honoring the guaranteed customer service standards, measures are being put in place for improvement. The statement comes on the heels of criticisms from a Clarendon customer who blasted the company on social media. Sherwin Martin not only questioned a 300% jump in his electricity bill, but says the company's customer service is poor. Media and Public Relations Manager at the JPS, Audrey Williams, says while Mr. Martin may be dissatisfied, the company is committed to good service. Persons have tried to, to meet him at his point of need, and in fact, the, the, the lead time in dealing with the situation, we actioned, uh, the service order was generated March 29, uh, the action was carried out on April 5, which was a relatively short window. I think we have tried really to meet him at his point of need and we do understand when persons come in and they're very upset and so on and sometimes if they don't get exactly what they want at that point in time as far as they're concerned everything was terrible. A recent mystery shopper survey by Market Research Services says of all the utility companies, JPS performed the best despite losing about 11 percentage points compared to last year. Ms. Williams says the complaint obviously, from Mr. Martin is being considered. Incident of this type, obviously it's a moment for introspection as well because at no point in time do we ever say we have done everything and there's no room for improvement. That cannot be. So obviously, having done all of that, we now sit down and say, all right, so what could we have done differently? What can we do better so that we don't have a repeat of that particular perception? And we're experiencing some technical difficulties. We do apologize to our viewers for having stayed with us here on the Midday News. But that's all we'll have for today. But do remember that primetime news is live at 7 o'clock and we'll have much more details then. So on behalf of our news, sports and production teams, I'm Andrea Chisholm. Have a wonderful afternoon.